Hi friends! In this video, I will show how to quickly and inexpensively collect a solar panel and then a small power station. The decision to assemble the station was made after I noticed a tent, a huge amount of used lithium batteries. Most of them lost the initial capacity as they were taken out of the laptop's old batteries. In order to avoid complex balancing systems and charge controllers, I decided to weld the batteries in parallel. Difficulties arose with the welding when I noticed the presence of solder on the contacts of some cans, so the connections turned out not very accurate. By the way, as a weldering device, I used the compact instrument which I made before. A link to the video about weldering inventor can be found in the description. Any solar station consists of few main units, the solar cells, the controller, energy storage devices in the form of batteries, and a conversion system. Our station is also equipped with these units, although everything is not as serious as in large solar stations. But let's return to the batteries. The total number of cans in my case is 9. The total capacity is about 10 amperes hour. A fully charged battery is enough to charge almost all portable devices that I have at my home. Now about the solar modules themselves. Last year I bought models of different sizes and capacities for tests and so accumulated about 1000 units. In this project, 18 polycrystalline modules were used. Each is 0.5 volt with the power of 0.25 watts. Modules were connected in series, so we got a battery with the power of 4.5 watts and rated voltage of 9 volts. A couple of tips for soldering such modules. Do all the work on a flat surface. The modules are very fragile and easily broken. Contacts on the modules do not need initially solder. It's enough to slightly spread the flux. I advise the makers for these purposes or a self-made flux, for example, rosin dissolved in alcohol. The connection bus surface is already tinned, so problems with soldering will not occur. They are sold in rolls and there are different sizes. Soldering is comfortable with a tip like a wave. The temperature of the soldering iron is about 340 to 350 degrees. First set the connecting bus and then gently move soldering iron along it. It is not necessary to press. The solder already available on the bus do job excellent. The battery is checked and then it will make out. There are a lot of options, but to make the battery similar to the industrial one, it is necessary to try very well and invest a lot of effort. How to be? Then it occurred to me perhaps the most delusional idea in this situation, to laminate the batteries using the most ordinary household laminator. Laminating batteries is common, but no one does it like that. I forgot to say, the modules were fixed on the field by a heat-resistant adhesive tape. Try to align them to the maximum, although the laminator will definitely move them a little. I repeated the lamination a couple of times and that's what I have finally. Method was surprisingly effective. No cracks were observed. To increase the strength, you can use several layers of film or fix it on a pre-cut piece of glass. You will get almost an industrial solar battery. But I took a piece of plywood, cut according to size of panel, plus an indentation of 1.5 cm on each side. The battery will be glued to the plywood, but before the plywood has been varnished on one side and on the other side the battery will be glued. For this purpose, epoxy resin, sealant or liquid nails can be used. Now we need to make a frame. I used aluminum right angle profile. The dimensions are not particularly critical, so I took what was in the nearest shop, then cut, a bit processing, and eventually get four pieces. Then we prepare the panel. The output buses need to be isolated from the metal frame. For these purposes, the best option is heat resistant adhesive tape. The frame part fixed with super glue and silicone sealant. Super glue used for the initial grip so that the frame is kept strong until dryness of the sealant.
The sealant dries for a long time and smells bad, so it is preferable to leave the panel somewhere on the balcony or in the yard. Now we return to the current carrying lines of the battery. We need to do something similar to the terminals, plus a small box for them, which will be glued to the plywood base. As the connecting lines I use same tin stripes that connect modules to each other. Instead of them you can use ordinary copper wires in isolation. All the above operations can be carried out before the sealant dries, but always do it outdoors. After a day, the excess sealant removed and we get a pretty good battery. It remains only to test it once more and it is already possible to use it. Friends, in the description are links to the purchase of solar modules and much more. In the next video, which will be released soon, we will assemble the station entirely, add all the necessary notes for the work and see what it is capable of. So as not to miss the new video, please subscribe. Share this video with friends if it was useful. Have a nice day. With you was Kassian TV. Goodbye.